that game there, it was everything it needed to be, really. 2-0 win, away in Moldova, against Sharif. Nothing ridiculously special. Fantastic goal from Jaden Sancho. Cristiano Ronaldo getting off the mark. He needed that desperately. But that's a game where Eric Ten Hag will be absolutely content, I would say, with that performance. Happy? Eh, you can probably say happy. I wouldn't say he's over the moon with it. But it's a game where Manchester United needed to get three points. We went away from home. We got two goals. We got the three points. We got another clean sheet. Three clean sheets away from home in a row. Southampton, Leicester, and now Sheriff. Barana Martinez. Yes, please, but I'm sorry. Can we just take a moment just to say thank you, Christian Eriksen, for joining Manchester United? This guy, he's the heartbeat of this improved, new-look Manchester United team. Everything... Good goes through him. Not just the fact that he got the assist for Jaden Sancho's goal, but every time he has the ball, every time he looks up, every time he puts himself into space for the pass, everybody seems to be playing better because Christian Eriksen is in that team. And the most influential footballers in the world have that ability. Make everybody else around them a better footballer. And I think Christian Eriksen is doing that. I think Scott McTominay, I think he's helping with Scott. I think he's just helping everything. And everybody in this United team is better because Christian Eriksen is in it. I genuinely had no idea how good he was. You know, all the time he spent at Spurs. I've watched, I watched it some time at Spurs. I've watched some games at Brentford and, and Inter and Denmark. But I never got the opportunity to appreciate how good he is. And he was on a free. He was on a free. Thank you. Christian Eriksen for having the ambition to come to Manchester United instead of staying at Brentford because he could have easily done that. But I can't wait to see how... I've already seen how good he is. I really have. And it's just, it's staggering. I never thought that we would have this sort of reliance on him. Reliance on him, sorry. But he's been that good. But let's uh, move aside from Christian Eriksen because I could wax lyrical. Wax lyrical. Making me lose my voice. Wax lyrical about how good Christian Eriksen is. But let's go to the game in itself. And that goal there from Jaden Sancho. Manchester United in the first 10-15 minutes against Sheriff there. Yeah, they, were, they came out as you would expect them to. They were enjoying the occasion. They came out. They were aggressive. We were never really threatened. I'll be honest. A couple of pop shots straight at David De Gea. A couple of decent balls over the top. Measured. Calm. And again, that's down in largely to Lissandro Martinez and Rafael Varane in this building partnership that they've got together. But Jaden Sancho, that goal there... I think it started from Martinez to McTominay, up down to the left, back up to Ericsson. Ericsson found Sancho, a lovely little dummy, nicely knocked in off the post. Mm, Gareth Southgate, don't know what you're doing, mate, but fine. It means that Sancho can get a little rest. And you'll, you'll, you saw the celebration there holding up the shin pad. Now, you might not have seen this. This happened a little bit earlier this week. Jaden Sancho, uh, he met a, a little boy who gave him a pair of shin pads, a pair of custom shin pads. Jaden Sancho, not only. Took them from the little lad. Look at that. He's just giving them with Sancho's face on it. Sancho scored the goal, remembered it, and held it up. It's a nice touch. It's those sort of things that help you get connections with your players. And Jaden Sancho, look, I don't think he's been, his form has been in, in, that incredible in the last couple of games. I think he's been better in the preseason than he has been in the actual season. But he's scoring goals. That goal against Liverpool, ah, just utter composure. And that goal tonight, utter composure to take the extra touch, to create the space, to open up the chance, swing it off the post. Beautiful from Jaden Sancho. Let's see that preseason Sancho really start shining through. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, well, Cristiano Ronaldo scored tonight. I don't think Cristiano, I think after his goal, Cristiano Ronaldo, he feels like he relaxed a little bit. But against the Moldovan champions, even Ronaldo struggled tonight again. And there's going to be so many people that keep... It seems like, I don't know, you can't see, you don't know how to say a bad word against Ronaldo at all. And I'm not here to talk about it. He needed that goal. He desperately needed that goal. And you saw it in his celebration. Ronaldo now is off the, off the mark. And we need Ronaldo scoring this season. We haven't got any bloody strikers fit. Ronaldo is the only one we've got fit. Rashford's injured. Martial's still injured. Conor McNeil's sitting on the bench. He's yet to start a Premier League game for Manchester United. And we're going away to City. What's going to happen there? Uh, Ronaldo does not play in the high-press system. We know that. We've known that. And that will not change across the course of the season. Today, I think his performance overall... I mean, he kept dropping ridiculously deep to try and get the ball, didn't he? 
Uh, he did that quite a lot last season. Uh, but he scored like 20-odd goals last season. Ronaldo still doesn't look quite on it for me. And I don't know whether this is just a new Ronaldo because this is just his age catching up with him. But at least he got the goal. Let's hope that that can lead to something else. Now, as I said at the start of the video, Rafael Varane and Lissandro Martinez. On paper, they're the best two centre-backs at the club. And in reality, they are the best centre-back partnership we have had at this club in a long, long time. They are breeding confidence into this defence. Today, what you saw from De Gea, actually, I think we used this game to try and build a bit more confidence in playing out from the back with the ball. We didn't really go long that much. We were always looking for the short passes. Rafa Varane and Martinez making themselves available. But they just complement each other well. Martinez is the... And that's, that's what happens. The big word is balance. And it's a balanced partnership. The reason Rio and Vidic worked so well it wasn't because they were two bruisers. Because Rio Ferdinand was the Rolls-Royce, the passer, the creator. And Vidic was just the aggy bouncer. And it just worked as a partnership. And to, to an extent, you've got a similar sort of relationship here, here building between Varane and Martinez. But Martinez is a hell of a lot more cultured on the ball than Vidic ever was. So they're not completely the same. But Martinez is that aggressor, that person who's going to not lunge in, but step in to make that tackle. And Varane's going to cover the spaces behind. And it works well. Both of them really cultured on the ball. Both of them more than happy playing out from the back with the ball. But just as a partnership, it's working really, really well, man. And that's what partnerships are all about. You have to get that blend and that balance. And we seem to have found it. As I said, three clean sheets away from home in our last three matches. And all three of those games, Martinez has started alongside Varane. It's a partnership which is growing and growing and growing. And the next test, geez, good luck keeping a clean sheet away at City. But the way they're playing there, it gives you hope for how we're going to improve as the season goes on. And speaking of improving... I thought tonight we saw Casemiro sort of like brushing the dust off. That's what I would call that performance from Casemiro. It wasn't incredible. It wasn't mind-blowing. It wasn't bad. I think he's, it felt like a game where he's like, okay, right, cool. Okay, I feel a bit more comfortable here. And that's, that's the way it looked. He gave the ball a couple, away a couple of times towards the start of the second half when he came on, but I think he settled into it. I think he's just got to get used to this system. He's been playing in Real Madrid with Cruz and Modric for so long that he's naturally, he's got like muscle memory for those positions and where he needs to operate. And it's a little bit different at Manchester United, this. No, it certainly is different with this man. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah, muy bueno. Christian Eriksen is so good. No, he's not. He's so, so good. That's what I've written down there. It feels like I'm going slightly over the top, but I'm not. I'm, I think it's because, right, we've been starved of a player like Eriksen for so long that it makes him stand out. Like, like a beacon, like a lighthouse. It makes him stand out. Bruno Fernandes, he's not the same sort of player as Christian Eriksen. He's somebody who loves that you can find those through balls and get that. But he's Christian Eriksen just like plays like he's got slippers on. Like he's just sitting in the chair. Just chill. Ah, go on then. Oh, yeah, you are. Ah, go on then. Boom. And his set piece delivery. Woo. We are going to be scoring corners this year. I'll tell you that. Big up and big shout out to all the United fans who traveled over to Moldova. I know quite a few lads. I, was, I think I was explaining it into a video live this morning. Mate called Ash. Did like a 19-hour trip, two buses and two planes. It's ridiculous what United fans do to go and follow United away in Europe. But I can't wait to go to Cyprus. And I can't wait to see this man line up. Mmm. Christian Eriksen. Mmm. I, 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 <laughs> mm. Making me make re really weird noises. But look, it's good to see Jaden Sancho get that goal. A lovely culture finish, composed finish. Didn't twat it at all. Just look for it. Boom. Into the corner, off the post. I'll take that. Nice little gesture from him to put that shin pad, wear it and remember it and celebrate with it. That'll mean a lot to that kid. Really will. He'll never forget that. Ronaldo, it's good to see him get off the mark. Still think he looks short of Ronaldo. I think this is just the new Ronaldo. That's just a couple of shades less than the Ronaldo that we're used to seeing. The more I see him play, the more evidence I think we've got of that being the case. The age has just caught up with him. We're going to see a different Ronaldo this year. Varane and Martinez together. Mwah. I'm loving that partnership. I think Ten Hag will be happy with Casemiro with everyone's overall performances. For me, man of the match was, was Ericsson, without a shadow of doubt. He's so good. I'm so happy that he's joined United on a free. But 2-0 winners over Sheriff. Good, done, buried. 17 days now we've got. And then City.